Want this? Anything else? Nope, that was everything. I think you're gonna be a bad teacher. Let's begin. Add your text. Trim it when the person begins speaking and when they stop. Change the text to what the person says. Change the font to Arial Bold. Now decrease the size to 9 and increase the character to 2. Scroll down to Glow. Change the intensity to 30 and the range to 70. Now click on Shadow. Change the opacity to 40% and the blurriness to 0. Keep the distance and angle the same. Copy and paste the text however many words there are in the sentence. Split the top text to where the last word starts. Now change the first copied text to the first word in the sentence. Repeat for the next word. Overlay the words to the corresponding placement in the sentence. Delete the guideline sentence. Select both of the texts and apply the fade in animation. I usually apply it for 0.2 seconds. Now select both and make it a compound clip. Go to the Adjustments tab and drag down a custom adjustment. Trim it so it fits the text clip. In the custom adjustment, change the highlight to 13 and the shadow to minus 50. Now, go to the Effects tab and find the ripple effect. Add it to the timeline and trim it so it fits the text clip. Change everything to zero except the twist, size, and speed. Keep the twist at 55 and change the size to 17 and the speed to 10. Select everything except the original clip and make it a compound clip. Now add fade out to the compound clip. Change the duration to your liking. Now, watch me repeat these steps for the other two sentences. This time, instead of fading in the words, I just used the animation type too. I adjusted the animation to go until the person stops speaking. If you want, you can also add a different color glow to the text. This time I chose red. Once you've done this process for the whole clip, you're all finished. Sorry, who exactly are you supposed to be? It's classified. You're the Blue Panther? No. The Caped Blue Satyr? No, I'm... Dark Garfield? No, stop. Macho Libre? 